What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the Mods. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. Uh, 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 I mean, that right there is real. Uh, it's just me. It's just in me. Oh, my dog. bigger than him. Gank. Put your breath in my face. Let's see if you want three for three. <laughs> right here is my impeccable wife, Iana. And this right here is my tasty husband, Ayise. You gonna text me later on? <laughs> I knew he was gonna say something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Alright, what's happening y'all? We wanted to come to you and give you the blam review of... Jumping the Broom. Jumping the Broom. I, let me just say this. Let me give you my impression before the movie came out. Before mm -hmm. the movie came out, I was really excited because... Well, I'm pretty excited anytime I see a movie with some folks of color, mm -hmm. and it seems like it has some meaning in it. Yeah. And I thought it was also an interesting dynamic to have the, I guess, bougie family, um, mm -hmm. you know, and the round away family, and kind of show that dynamic. I was laughing in the previews, so I was already excited to see the movie. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about you. Yeah, I was I was excited as well. Um, I was excited because you know, like my wife mentioned, not just because. It was a black, you know, movie, but at the same time, too, it was a black movie about marriage, mm -hmm. you know, about um, family dynamics, and it seemed to have a positive spin on it. So I really appreciated that. You know, a lot of times when we go to these movies nowadays, when it's dealing with black folks, there's a lot of drudgery, mm -hmm. a lot of, um, you know, emotional turmoil, and a lot of internal wrestling that you go through, you know, while you're in the movie, and then when you walk out the movie. And so you might have some profound conversations, but, you know, every time you go to the movie, you don't necessarily want it to be an experience where mm -hmm. it's, um, you know, a bunch of aha moments, a bunch of epiphanies. I you like just want to have a, I mean, you might like it, but a lot of people just want to have a good time. I don't want to go and be like, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, so I appreciated this movie, um, just again from the previews, because it seemed to be pre presenting a picture that um, was going to be, you know, you know, rather, rather, rather decent. You know. Mm -hmm. So here's what I liked about the movie. What I liked is the fact that um, right from the beginning, it kind of draws you in. It draws you into the movie. I, I stayed with it. I didn't tap out at any point in time. And I thought there was a real good balance of genuine moments that made me laugh. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and, and then meaningful moments that made me say, ah, you know, I really felt it. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband, he was talking about, you know, being, you know, how you can go to the movies and be having this internal stuff going on because it's such profound, yeah. depressing stuff happening on the screen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there were some significant serious moments but it wasn't that kind of flavor mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. I, I again I don't have a problem with that but I just thought it was really good I mean I don't want to I guess spoil the movie for folks but mm -hmm. I, I really liked how it dealt with real issues it dealt That's with um, the legacy of secrets that African Americans have I'm not saying that we're the only ones to do this but I am African American so I can only speak from that perspective mm -hmm. and I know that from the folks that I've worked with in, in my work and just my own family, we're we be keeping some secrets. Yeah. And so it really talked about that, you know, stop stop keeping secrets from mm -hmm. each other. Um with 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 the um young lady who's getting married, found out that her parents You're not supposed to be like oh, okay. telling too much. No, what, what we're not, we? Cause we ain't trying to tell too much. People might not have seen the movie yet. Uh, okay. Well, All right, so just to let you something see. important. Yeah, and then in addition to that, you know, I had a whole <laughs> bunch of cultural cues in there that um, some people found to be, you know, good things that need to occur in weddings. Mm -hmm. Other people found that they didn't need to occur. We need to drop them. It's too ghetto, too hood. Give me an example. I mean, you want me to get into the movie? Just give me one example. I mean, the whole electric slide piece. <laughs> no. I mean, that's one thing. <laughs> you know, so um, so yeah, so some of those things were good. There were a couple of problems that I had with the movie, and um, not to bash it or anything like that, but you know, I do think that you know, TD Jakes. Um, needs to do a part two. A part two to the movie is definitely needed because there were some things in the beginning of the movie when they were in the process of getting ready to jump the broom that, um, you know, they really didn't go too deeply in. There were some insecurities, some issues that cropped up between both the um, the groom, I mean the fiance, both of the, the couple. There were some issues that cropped up that really reflected that some more work needed to occur in their relationship, not just with themselves, but with each other. So there was a maturation process that needed to occur in their relationship. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I think before they even got to the jump in the broom phase, I thought they moved too quickly into that. Well, they had been dating for six months. Yeah, for six months. So, you know, I had that, that right there raised my eyebrows and raised some alarms for me. And then, you know, being as though they were looking to get into the marriage, you know, after a six month time period, what I would like to see, since they didn't go through a lot of stuff, I would like to see what that process and experience would be after they got married. So I think a part two is definitely needed because, you know, more needs to be told about this family, about this story, and about this couple who got married. It's such an early stage in their relationship. 
ultimately, I thought it was a really good message because it was about two families who came from two opposite ends of the block or however you want to say it, um, two different neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and um, really had some preconceived notions about each other yeah. and, you know, kind of got into it, but were able to come together because two people brought those families together. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of coming together over one glorious weekend of getting married, they learned some things that they didn't know before. Mm -hmm. They engaged in some struggle that they hadn't dealt with before. Mm -hmm. And they were able to be real with each other and get to a place of, of accepting each other and not judging each other mm -hmm. as much. So I thought it, you know, it was good. I thought mm -hmm. it was good because they talked uh, about some real stuff. And then everybody smiled, hugged, and lived happily ever after. That was a love conquers all peace. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So it's definitely a feel-good movie. Mm -hmm. It definitely provokes some thought. We definitely think you should take your dollars to back it. And we'd like to hear what you have to say about the movie yourself. So, as always, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Remember, stop playing and start pushing. Oh.